Welcome back everyone for another episode of Make It Monday. We're so glad that you're able to join us this week. Hope you've been able to tune in for the last couple of episodes. You can check them out on our channel if you've missed them. But this week we are going to be making DIY bubbles. So grab your supplies and let's get started. All you're gonna need today is some water, some corn syrup and some dish soap. I found clear dish soap at the grocery store, but you can use whatever kind of dish soap you have at home. I just bought clear stuff because later on we will actually use food coloring if you want to color our bubbles and to do an activity with them. But any kind of dish soap at home is gonna work for you for this bubble DIY and that's all you're gonna need. So you're going to need two and a half cups of water. I have it in this big measuring cup because then I can pour in my one cup of dish liquid. So we will start there. I'm just gonna pour it in until I reach the three and a half mark. Perfect, so that's one whole cup of dish soap. And then you want about a third of a cup of corn syrup. Okay, that's all you're gonna need to do to make your bubble mixture and you can use it just like this. So this bubble mixture is safe to use inside or outside, wherever you want to be to blow some bubbles. You can use pretty much anything to blow bubbles. If you have the tools that come with bubbles at home, you can use those. Or you can even just use a straw if you want to blow some bubbles around the house or outside. Whatever is going to work for you. But now we are going to show you how you can actually paint with bubbles. So this next activity is going to be coloring our bubble solution. When we color this, this is only for painting with. Don't blow these bubbles around your house because you don't want to get food coloring all over your carpet or on your table or on your clothes. You can just use this kind of solution outside or if you're going to do the next activity that we're doing. Otherwise, you can just use the plain solution that we made at the beginning of this video in your house or outside because it won't make a mess. But what you're gonna do is take some food coloring and color your different bowls of bubble solution so that we can do this next activity. So now you're, what you're gonna do is take your different colors and you can blow bubbles onto your paper to paint with them. Well, we're so glad that you're able to join us for this week's episode of Make It Monday, where we make DIY bubbles. If you decide to make it at home, make sure you tag us on Instagram so we can see what you've made. And don't forget to follow us there for any more updates, and we'll see you next time.